I want to put like hair care, body wash and things like that into this drawer because I feel like they'll be easily accessible and that's exactly what I want. So a couple of things that were actually in here already before I get started. These are the Sunday whipped shower foams. I have a lot of those as you can tell, but we really do like them. Not only like, I just think the packaging is so aesthetic, but they're also really great. I love them. And then also this volume and bounce plumping conditioner and shampoo, both as well. Similar to what I said I love, you know, volumizing, so keeping that. But on this side, that's not gonna fit. So on this side, I'm gonna try and stick with body washes, possibly like some exfoliators and stuff as well. And then let's do a couple of hair masks and then shampoos and conditioners, I suppose. I mean, I don't know if this just looks really messy, but I don't know how else you can sort of organize like shampoos and conditioners and things like that. It's not necessarily like in view, so this will have to stay. We also found actually another exfoliator that I already had in the bathroom. This is the Rituals, Ritual of Hammam Deeply Purifying Hot Body Scrub. In here I have like my epilator and stuff, so this is going to stay. And I suppose the razors can sort of live there. I do have like random things like this little body wash and this body scrub and stuff that didn't really have a place, so they just, are living like this but everything's in here which is a fantastic so job done now this is what i've been really excited about tackling this is where i'm hoping all of my beauty products will live in color coordinated glory currently we just have a body wash in here and a few other like little dishes and trinkets and things like that and at the top my boyfriend's using the top shelf but I think that's gonna have to move somewhere else because it's definitely gonna like kill the vibe. But I'm really excited to bring over all the beauty products. The thing I'm unsure of is whether I'm going to organize it in categories, which is how I typically organize things, or if I'm just gonna go for it and go color coordinated. We'll see. don't like it <laughs> um i always thought i wanted it to be kind of like color coordinated because i think like it just looks cool but it's not making sense to me it's not making sense to have like i don't know uh uh exfoliator next to a spf like uh, it's just not really making sense to me so i think i'm going to go back to the drawing board and actually put everything in categories so probably like body care um moisturizers and then cleansers i think that's what's making sense to me at the moment because this it looks cool like it looks quite aesthetically pleasing but it just i think 
in terms of like usage and being user friendly, I actually don't think it is very user friendly. So back to the drawing board. Starting a vlog from a very different location. I think my eyes are tearing up because it's quite windy. You might be able to hear it. But Andre and I have come to a Champagne Spa in Forest Mare. Forest Mare? I don't know how it's pronounced. Me and pronunciations with like English cities. Very tricky. Um, but we're here for a little overnight stay. It was actually Andre's birthday at the weekend. So we thought we would just extend it that little bit more and like use this as an excuse to go somewhere new. So we have just checked in, it's about 5 o'clock but still really sunny luckily. Our drive here was so just like crazy, we experienced all of the weather. It's not particularly warm at the moment, I think it's like 12 degrees or something so it is quite chilly but the sun is shining and that makes everything better in my opinion. On our journey here we had rain, like torrential rain, then glorious sunshine where we were like too hot in the car. It was just, we just had everything. But we're finally here, we have arrived, we've checked into our room and I thought I would show you around and have you come along with us for our little spa break. What is a staycation without a room at all. Here we have our entrance. We have a little archway here which has a little changing area with wardrobes, ironing board, and then a mirror and desk area here as well. We have the little drinks section here, coffee machine, some waters. I have of course brought my Stanley cup with me because I don't think I go anywhere without it now. And then we've also very kindly been treated to some Champneys gifts, which I think I'll open this with you actually, so that we can see what's in there. We have this really lovely lounge area here with a TV and then a little drink station as well. And then further along we have our bed and then, I don't know how well you can see from here, I will take you out there, but we are very lucky to be facing the lake. So today, especially because it's a really nice weather, um, I think we'll be really lucky with that. Do you know what let's just go outside now because the weather is just glorious I've popped you down so we can open the goodie bag I thought it'd be quite nice to open it together so let's have a peek at what's inside So first up, a little um, like travel pouch. These come in handy so much. And then in here, there is a like headband for when you remove your makeup. These are really handy. Some treatment gloves and then a cooling gel eye mask from Champneys. And then, and then we have a Champneys bath and body oil in the calm scent or fragrance oh this is a good one this is also Champneys health spa from the calm range and it's their bubble heaven so this is a bubble bath and this is just this is the kind of thing me and my boyfriend are going to use so much at home so it's fabulous here we have a Champneys body balm in the slumber fragrance and finally, we have a Champney Spa Nourishing Foot Butter Treatment. So a really nice selection of products from Champneys there for us to try. I haven't actually ever tried any Champneys products, so I'm very excited to experience it whilst we're here and then also at home. Day two at the spa and today we have a full spa day. We had breakfast earlier and I actually went in for a radiance facial as well. Andre is actually having a treatment himself. He's gone for a Elemis deep tissue massage. He should be back soon I'd say. And then I'm not sure if we'll head to the gym or if we will head to the spa. I think he's here. Talk, Hello, yes I will. <laughs> How was it? Good. Hello, so I've actually, today I've had a really productive day which I'm really happy about because I have not been having productive days. I have been feeling really, really just rubbish honestly but today I decided that I was going to 
wake up, wash my hair, film a review video of the Dyson Airstraight, which should be on my channel already. It should have been my most recent video. So have a watch of that if you are interested in it. I mean, this is my hair post Dyson Air Wrap. It's the evening now. I filmed that video in the morning. It's now, it's almost 7 p.m. Um, and honestly, I'm actually really impressed. And I genuinely think that like this is it this is going to be my new hair care routine because i'm just obsessed with how my hair looks like really i really am impressed but can we talk about the fact that it is the end of april and i am wearing two jumpers and this big like fluffy coat i i don't know why it's so cold like it's just so cold i think it's like nine degrees out there so I have all of my layers on, but I'm going to take off my makeup and I thought I'd film it because why not? Ugh, just look, like sometimes I love doing a ponytail and look at that sleek ponytail, love. But anyway, I'm going to film taking off my makeup like I said. I got my nails done about mm, two, three weeks ago and I wanted like a pastel, well I knew I wanted a blue and I thought I wanted like a pastel blue, but then I was really swayed by this blue and don't get me wrong, like I love it, but this is a summer colour, this is not a rain in April kind of colour, but it, it's really grown out actually, I think I'll do my nails again soon. Next I want to go for a yellow or something, which again is quite a summery colour, so I don't know, I guess if we don't have summer weather, I'm trying to like manifest it through my manicures apparently. I actually have, mm, do I have many new products? A couple of new products, which could be exciting. First step, as always, is to remove my eye makeup. This is the Nivea Eye Makeup Remover. I think this stuff is great, honestly. But look at that, literally all gone. And I use waterproof mascara on most days, so I always need something that is oil-based to actually remove the waterproof mascara, and this always does such a good job. And I think it's really affordable price as well. I've tried more expensive um, options and like alternatives and like, this one works just as well. And then for my cleansing balm, this is a new cleansing balm, I've never tried this before. It's from Alpha H and it's the Melting Moment Cleansing Balm. Apparently this went super viral on TikTok. What? Is this normal? It's like got kind of like a layer. That's really weird, I hope that is normal and it's not just, but this isn't old. I don't know. Anyway, let's try it. Why not? I like that. I think that worked quite well. It's definitely got a strong scent. And I don't love strong scents. I don't love like spa scents and things like that. They're not really my cup of tea. But I quite like that. I feel like my skin feels nice and soft, nice and smooth. Nice. And then for my second cleanse, I have recently been using the Honest Beauty Magic Gel to Milk Cleanser. I've been using this in the mornings and also as like my second cleanser in the evenings. And there we go.